welcome back to my channel. So in my last video, I talked about 10 things that I'm planning to do for myself as I enter my 30s to become a better person and lead a happier and healthier life overall. If you missed that video, check it out over here. I will link it somewhere here. So following on from that, I would love to continue on talking about the topic of personal development because it's something I'm really passionate about. And I want to share with you four things that I have recently implemented in my life over the past three months that have made me significantly happier and have brought more peace to my life. So let's go. So the first thing that I did was break up with Instagram. And this was the main thing that catapulted the next three things that I'm gonna be talking to you about in this video, but breaking up with Instagram was the first step that I took. Keep an eye out on my next video where I'm going to actually deep dive and share with you the like, experience that I had getting off Instagram and what led me to that decision. But for now, basically, um, I've been on Instagram for uh, like a number of years now and I have taken, I took a short break a couple of years ago and that was really, really good for me mentally uh, and I really enjoyed that time off. Uh, but I've always struggled to actually break up with it properly and I know it's always been kind of an unhealthy relationship for me uh, with Instagram but yeah it was just always struggled to get off it the thing that I struggled with most was that I really enjoyed content creation and I love making my pictures and videos look really aesthetic and I found that a really good creative outlet for me so I really enjoyed content creation um, but sometimes sharing so much about my life or like sharing the highlights of my life also felt really vain and sometimes not super realistic. I often found I sometimes was a little bit stressed about how my stories looked and it just seemed like a lot of unnecessary worry. Like I would go to an event or go to, you know, do something really nice with my partner and I would want to capture it all, which is great. But then the sharing of that content sometimes became a bit burdensome because I would take ages just to edit stories perfectly and find the right font and find the right colors and things like that. And it would just consume a lot of my time. I think Instagram is also a really good distraction because um, at least for me, I was getting distracted from doing the important things in my life. Uh, and generally important things take time and effort. So for example, like growing a business or working on a relationship or making a change in my career. Those things take a lot of time, energy and effort. And rather than sitting down and spending the time working on those things, I found that I was on Instagram kind of living vicariously through other people's pictures and lives. And so it wasn't super healthy in that way either. In terms of for my business, I felt like a pressure that I had to have an Instagram page to promote myself. And um, I really enjoyed it at the start, um, but then it became a little bit draining. Like I tried so many times to create a content schedule, like what people say and like bulk produce your content or bulk create the photo and the you know the find the taglines and then write the descriptions and everything and um, I just found bulk creating content really draining I think also because things like stories and even the photos on Instagram is considered short form content I didn't feel like I was getting a whole lot of return for the amount of effort that I was putting in but since breaking up with Instagram and getting off it, I feel like I've got more mental clarity and I definitely have a lot more time and white space just to think and be with my thoughts and think about what I wanna do and things that I wanna achieve. Don't get me wrong, this can be confronting sometimes, all of a sudden not having the distractions and then having to face the things that I wanna do in my own life and realizing that there's the only thing that's going to get me there is hard work and dedication. So that can be a little confronting sometimes, but it's nice to have the mental clarity. The other thing I really liked was um, not being influenced by pictures and images and things like that that I see on Instagram and actually tuning in and listening to the things that I like and um, finding my individuality again. Being off Instagram also uh, meant that I had quite a bit of downtime and at times I became bored which actually made me pursue other creative hobbies, which leads me to my next point. The second thing I've started doing is documenting my life in a more intentional way. I remember when I was in high school, I would love to go into the city, take myself on dates in the city and 
um, bring my camera along and I was really into photography and then once I took the photos I'd be really excited coming back home and learning how to edit them and make them really look really good and then maybe even like putting them into a blog post. It was a great way for me to use my creativity and document my life. Since getting onto social media and um, posting on Instagram, I noticed that I was using my SLR camera less and less and taking all my photos and videos entirely on my phone. But since getting off Instagram, I found other ways to document my life more intentionally and create memories in a different way. I was particularly inspired to document my life more intentionally after doing a Skillshare course with Nathaniel Drew. Uh, he's another great YouTuber that focuses a lot on personal development topics. So I'll link his channel below, but he basically did a course where he walked me through different ways to document my life more intentionally and those included things like you know capturing photos and videos and uh, journaling so yeah that's kind of where it all started for me and personally for me the things that I focus on is making YouTube videos um, taking really nice photos with my camera I'm starting to get back a little into blogging um, and I'm doing a lot more journaling now as well and this is also a nice segue into my next point so the third thing that I do is I produce more content than I consume. I think in this fast paced modern world, it's so easy to over consume, whether that's um, you know, on social media, the news, um, you know, notifications that you get. It's, it's like information overload nowadays. But I truly believe that as human beings, we are all inherently creative and part of our life purpose is to actually express our authentic selves through different creative outlets. I think we're all unique and we add our own value to the world. No one has the same life experiences and perspectives and um, opinions and memories as you do. So, you know, you're a unique individual and I think all of us have something to share with the world. So some of the ways that I like to produce more is through creating YouTube videos, like I said. Um, I like to cook and try different recipes. Um, I'm pretty interested in interior design. I know in one of my previous videos I talked about updating my, my home decor, so I really enjoy doing that. Um, I am in the process of curating some nice pieces of clothing for my wardrobe. Uh, I write on my blog and share photos and I set up and host dinner parties. That's something that I've enjoyed doing recently, having friends and family over and setting the table really nicely and creating a vibe with some nice music and things like that. So I've definitely felt a shift in my energy where I felt a lot more positive and productive, I guess, expressing myself through these different creative mediums. And I think the main point is that sometimes we just need to be creative without an audience. The final thing I've started doing is, well, not started doing, but that's been a natural result of everything that I spoke about before, is having more white space in my life. Now that my time isn't preoccupied by things like social media, I have more space and time to like be with my thoughts and live a slower lifestyle and take things at my pace. I think it's really important that we create space every day just to reflect on things that have happened throughout the day and the conversations we've had, just to allow our brain time to process the events in our life. Um, we don't do that often enough. And by doing that and allowing myself time to turn inward and reflect, I think it helps me build my self-awareness. So these four things that I've implemented in my life recently have significantly increased my happiness and sense of peace. Overall, I feel like removing distractions, living more intentionally and using my creativity more has um, just helped me to understand myself better and I have a clear view of who I am as a person and what I want to achieve moving forward. As I mentioned in my next video, I'm going to talk more about breaking up with Instagram. I'll share things like how it impacted my mental health, uh, the struggles with FOMO being off the platform, and also how my identity has shifted since not being on the platform. Before you go, please leave a comment and let me know what you thought of today's video and whether there's any changes that you've recently implemented in your own life to live a more peaceful life or, you know, get to know yourself better. What are some of the things that you've done that have really improved your quality of life? I'm keen to know. But uh, as always, thanks for joining me today and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.